You're listening to Health Professional Radio with Wayne Buckler. My guest today is Dion Gilbert. Dion's the Managing Director of Jamor Healthcare, and I've got Dion on the line to explain to us what it is that Jamor does. So, welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dion. Tell us a little bit to start with about what it is that Jamor Healthcare does, because it's a name that doesn't explain anything in itself. Hi, Wayne. Thank you for having me. Um, we manufacture electric adjustable beds for um, healthcare facilities, predominantly aged care, but also for acute care and home care. Uh, we also do a, an extensive range of uh, pressure management mattresses to go with our beds and furniture and accessories to go with the beds and to fit out um, hospital and aged care facilities. Now, Dion, where are you located and what geographic footprint do you service with your products and services? We're headquartered here in Melbourne, where we have our factory and our showroom. We also have uh, offices in Sydney, but we actually service the whole of Australia and even on occasions we've done some export orders to uh, the Asian and Pacific uh, region. Um, for uh, larger um, corporate clients, we fly up to uh, see them in the state uh, if that's what they need, and uh, that's yeah. So we we put product into areas as far as um, you know, uh, Launceston or Hobart to the south, and uh, um, Cairns to the north, and Alice Springs and Darwin, and right over to Broome and Port Lincolns, all. Fairly isolated places, but the majority of our business obviously comes from the eastern coast of Australia. So clearly it's an Australia-wide footprint, even though you're a Melbourne-based business. Let me just talk a little bit about your range because I've been looking at your website and I'm struck first of all by the fact that many of your products don't look like something you're going to find in a in an institution. They don't look like a hospital bed. They look to me much more like a household piece of furniture. Is that by design? Most definitely. It's been a distinct trend in the industry probably for the last uh, five to ten years now, particularly in the aged care space. Families are putting their loved ones into aged care facilities and they want them to look like a home. They don't want them to look like an institution and so a lot of the uh, facilities now as they modernise and upgrade and update are wanting to try and have that five-star hotel look about the place uh, and that's, that's definitely been the trend. Also in the home care space, again, when people are putting in an adjustable bed because they need it for mobility uh, or um, you know, occupational health and safety reasons, they still want it to look like you know their their private bedroom. They don't want it to look like a hospital room. So in the hospital, in, in the aged care and in the home care, definitely moving towards that. Hospital uh, space is still very clinical looking because they're very much interested in in um, the you know, infection control. You know, ease of clean. They're, they're not interested in so much in those extra bells and whistles. They just want it to be more utilitarian for what they need. Now, I have to say you've been very successful at that just looking at your website because some of the furniture pieces I looked at on there, I thought, yes, I could see that in my lounge room or I could see that in my bedroom without much difficulty at all. You're listening to Health Professional Radio. My name is Wayne Buckler. My guest with me today is Dion Gilbert, who is the Managing Director of Jamor Healthcare, a, uh, an Australian-wide supplier of um, furniture for the health industry, um, uh, beds, chairs, um, pressure control mattresses, and we've just been talking about how much of the range looks like a modern bedroom and not like a hospital. Dion, expand now what you're saying about your range of products and services. As though you were talking to clinicians, what is it that you would like them to know about what you manufacture that's not necessarily the run of the mill? We can probably offer the widest range of beds and mattresses in the country. Namely, we can do all the different sizes from narrow singles, singles, king singles, doubles, queens, kings, 
split queen, split king. So nobody else really offers that breadth of range. We also are able to offer um, beds that go from super low height, you know, right down to the floor level, right up to uh, the bariatric beds, which are beds designed to uh, you know, uh, carry patient weight up to 400 kilograms. Um, as you know, the population is, is getting heavier, and so therefore the beds have to get stronger to accommodate that increase in patient weight. But the other major trend, as I said, has been the super low bed, and they've originated because, particularly in the aged care space, um, facilities are not allowed to use safety side rails, and obviously when you remove um, the side rail from the bed, you run the risk of uh, the patient falling. Uh, in order to mitigate that risk, if you take the bed close to the floor, then should they fall, they're less likely to uh, to injure themselves. So that's that's that was the driving trend behind that in in that uh, in that space in the hospital area. Obviously, they still like the low beds now as well, but they're more than happy to use side rails because they're often using beds to push patients around between the wards or to radiology, uh, etc. So it's a, it's a that's why the the products are a little bit different. Yes, one of the things that I notice has changed in hospitals in the uh, 30 odd years since I was a nurse is once upon a time everyone got transferred to a trolley to go from one place to another. Now the beds have become the trolleys. It's one of the noticeable changes I see when I visit hospitals these days. That, that's correct. And uh, in, on some of the high end beds, they even build in uh, electric bed movers into the beds themselves to make it easier for the orderlies to push them around. Uh, on the other beds, they are designed to accommodate with um, portable bed movers to, uh, uh, that they strap onto the bed when they need to move them. It's just occupational health and safety. It's the name of the game in all of these facilities these days, and, and you've got to reduce the risk of injuries to staff. Yes, well, of course, the one place you shouldn't get hurt is in a care home or a hospital. Uh, unfortunately, it tends to happen far too much, I think, or it has done historically. Let me move on to... Um, your uh, business again, if there was a misconception about um, the products and services that Jamor offer and it drives you nuts and keeps you awake at night, what would that misconception be? Look, probably the thing that uh, frustrates us the most is with the um, greater uh, uh, arrival of, of imported product into the into Australia now, um, particularly products that sourced you know from China and Vietnam and other Asian countries. The expectation is, from the client is, is oh these products are pretty cheap and you know from most countries they are, but the you know you get what you pay for and the price. Um, or, or what should I say? The, 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 you know, the quality is, isn't up to the same standard that what we supply, and so it makes it very challenging to try and say to a client, "Well, hey, you know, if you use our product, it's going to last you many years longer than the alternative, and you're going to pay ten or twenty percent more, but you're not going to pay a hundred percent more, but you're going to get probably a hundred percent improvement in, in performance and service." So as a value for money proposition, you'd say, of course, Jamal makes a much better uh, equation than cheaper imported equivalents. I think uh, on nearly every occasion, I'd say that that's a, a very fair assumption to, to make. Um, our clients are always happy with our product and the service that we provide, the after-sales service that we provide to the clients, I think is um, second to none compared to anybody out there uh, in Australia, whether they're using local or uh, or imported products. Dion, it's been great talking to you. I can hear the passion for your business in the way you uh, talk about it and, and the way you discuss it. Uh, it's always good to talk to someone who's passionate about their business, and particularly so when it's such a big part of healthcare. Thank you for joining me on Health Professional Radio today. If you've just joined me today, I've been talking to Dion Gilbert from Jamore Healthcare, 
Now, their website is at www.jomor.com.au and you can call them if you're wanting to catch up with them in Melbourne on 03 If you've missed the interview, we have a transcript on our website and an archive audio file at www.hpr.fm. My name's Wayne Buckler. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio.